Alright, hi guys, I just wanted to do a quick update on the channel. Sorry, sunglasses have to go down. So just getting out of church. It's currently Sunday, November the 17th. So yeah, I go to Gateway. I don't know if you can see the sign. No, I can't get it in the camera here. Um just kind of sitting in the park. Anyways, I go to Gateway here in South Lake. It's the one of the biggest campuses here in the Dallas area. So I'm just kind of letting the traffic go here. So I know I haven't done an update since my trips and just want to talk, talk a little bit about everything that is going on. Um, so today was a little emotional. It was the first time I've been to church since being on vacation. Um, and they did communion today and the message was about the um, last supper room and being at dinner with the Lord and into today's, you know, with communion, being at in dinner with the Lord. So it's a little emotional, kind of brought tears to get back to the Jerusalem experience um, and being able to visit the Last Supper room. And I know I mentioned it a little bit, and unfortunately the baptism didn't happen. Just I'll put that video up later with the reviews from the trip and all of that with what happened. So that will go up. Um, I've just been a little bit busy, haven't had time to do much editing or even go through my videos, um, much less my pictures from my trips, because guys, I'm moving. Um, so with the holidays and everything going on, it's just been extremely busy, I promise I'll get them up. Um, I am going home to my family next week for Thanksgiving, so I'm hoping maybe to get a little bit of editing done then, maybe I can start on them. I did buy the film more program, so it's going to take me a little bit of time to get used to that and learn to edit on that because I've been just using an app that I've been using until I can get that going. Um, so that will be new coming up on my channel as soon as I have time to mess with it. I have a lot of stuff to move. They upped my rent where I'm at and I was able to get into a nicer apartment, the Camden Riverwalk, over still at the Grapevine area over by the mall. Um, so for the same price, and I have an attached garage, which I am super excited about. Um, I need new living room furniture, so I'm, or furniture period. So I'm spending about $2,800 on furniture because I'm not taking any of my furniture with me when I move, but I have a lot of stuff and it's just me, I have no help. Been having to get boxes and packing. It's just a busy time of the year with holidays around us. Um, today I'm actually going to meet friends over across the street here at Cheesecake Factory for a friend's birthday. They're celebrating our November birthdays, which mine is Wednesday. Um, Tuesday I'm signed up to go to a taco night with the Christian single group, Dallas Christian Singles. Um, and Wednesday is my birthday. I don't have plans until Friday night. Thursday, my apartment complex where I'm currently at is having Thanksgiving dinner. And then Friday night for my birthday, we're going to Glass Cactus to see Night Ranger. Those that don't know who Night Ranger is, it's an old 80s band. They sing Sister Christian. It's one of my all-time favorite songs. So I'm excited for that. <clears throat> and then I work Saturday. And Saturday night, I was invited to the Margarita Ball. Um, so I'm going to try to film a little of this stuff in between. Those that aren't familiar with the Margarita Ball, it is a, um, like a donation for Toys for Tots. So you have to bring, you have to, first off, you have to be invited. Um, I was going to go with the Christian Single Group. They canceled. However, my friend Elizabeth invited us. So me and Tammy and Elizabeth are going. Um, it is a formal. You have to wear a formal and you have to bring a toy, $10.00 or less, so just remembering from last year, I know Baby Dolls was on the list, so I was out shopping, doing a little Christmas shopping last night, and I got my toy, I got another little Baby Doll, um, which I think I got it at TJ Maxx, I believe is where I got it at, so for like 10 bucks. So, I will post a little bit of that up, and yes, they do have free margarita online and free food. I know last year it was like Mexican food that they had up. Um, so yes, I am in the process of getting travel videos up, but I've got to get this move done. I said I'm hoping I can work on it some next week while I'm home at my family's in Arkansas. Um, no promises, but I will do the best I can and get those up. Um, I said just with the busy holiday season and trying to get moved, 
I've just got a ton of stuff going on, but I promise they will be up. Um, as far as my travels, um, I don't have anything planned for next year. Mainly because I'm moving. I don't have the money. I need new furniture. Next up, I've got to get my teeth fixed. Um, I am getting dental implants. So as soon as I can get everything out of the way, that will be my next major thing that I'm doing. Um, I think we, my family and I had the MSC cruise booked, but I think we're going to be canceling it because none of us are able to afford it. I know I can't just with moving and having new furniture and I need to get bills paid off so I can get my teeth fixed. Um, but I am looking at maybe going to Sri Lanka to the candy festival um, in the July 1st of August. So stay tuned for that. We are looking at the um, travel stuff for that now um, with my friend Christy. I uh, just wanted to touch a little bit on the Mexico trip because I know I put a lot of safety stuff up on Facebook about that. So just wanted to touch a little bit with what happened. Um, my so-called friend I was with, um, she put me in a very bad situation um, and was just, to put it nicely, a total B-word. Um, I don't want to say it on here, but she took me to this neighborhood and it was Mexico's Halloween so there was a ton of people and like the market itself was fine but once we got outside the market there was like this huge open area and they had a concert going on and I just had a total panic attack I can't even explain it because I've never had it before I was just you know not knowing who's behind costumes I'm a white girl in the wrong color did not fit in just did not feel safe and she did not help matters any um, she made me feel very unsafe, um, come to find out later her brother was upset with her for taking me there because it was not a safe neighborhood, so I guess it was my instinct telling me it wasn't a good area, and so she started this mess on me like, well, you're disrespecting us, you're disrespecting me, you're disrespecting me and my family, okay, I'm like, how am I disrespecting you? I said, I'm dependent on you. I don't know the language. Um, I don't know anything. I don't know where I'm at. I didn't even know the address where I was staying. I thought she was going to leave me. I was terrified. So I'm like, I don't even know how to get back to my stuff to get to the airport. Um, I mean, it just got bad. And I'm like, how am I disrespecting you? So she was upset because she went down there with no money, knowing that we had this trip planned for a month. And she wanted me to pay her way and my way. And I'm like, no, it's my responsibility to take care of myself, not me and you. And that was the whole thing. She wanted me to pay her way. And so she got hateful about it. And I mean, to the point she wouldn't even get us home. She was like, put that dress in your, for Uber to get home. We're not taking a taxi. You need to put that dress in your phone. I didn't even know the address where I was staying. I couldn't get her to help me. I couldn't get anyone to help me. So I thought I was going to be left there. That is how scared I was. I just wanted to go home, go to the airport. I literally had two panic attacks that night after that. And I was up. I mean, I'm so shaken thinking about it. Um, because it was just, it was a terrifying experience. And she was telling me I wasn't welcome. I wasn't welcome back to their house. I wasn't welcome to go to the parade with them. So I'm like, fine, I'm, I'm ready to go home. Just take me to the airport. She wouldn't even take me to the airport the next morning to get an Uber. Guys, I had to call three times for an Uber because I didn't speak Spanish. No one would help me. They didn't want to help me. Um, so yeah, it was a little terrifying trying to get out of there. Um, I will never go back to that region again. Oh, I never say never, but I will never go back to that region of Mexico again. Um, I was fine as long as I was on a tour, which we did two or three days. I was fine, but if I wasn't, then I was terrified. And right after I left that area, like, I've been home for a couple of weeks now. So, like, right after that is when ever that cartel deal broke down in the same area that I was in to the Americans. So, I mean, I'm, they, my gut was trying to tell me something then because I was just totally terrified and did not feel safe. Um... I did feel safer at the parade 
I'm glad I went on that we worked out our differences for the last day and went on, had a good time, went to the parade, but I did feel safer at the parade than I did in that one neighborhood that we were in. Um, so that's what happened there for the safety with Mexico, just, you know, bad friend judgment. She put me in a bad situation, um, and I will never be in that area again. So that is with that, but I am running late, as I have been all morning. So I've got to get over to the, my luncheon with my friends, but I just wanted to do a quick um, update on the channel and getting those videos up. I promise they will be worked on. It's just with moving in the holidays. There's just a ton going on right now. All right, catch with you later. All right, so lunch is over for a birthday celebration, and now I've got to run to Walmart and exchange trash bags because I got the wrong kind. And after that, I'm going home to pack, but I just wanted to throw up a few clips from today. And until the next video, I will check in with you then. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and also like the bell to get new subscriptions of the travel videos coming up. Have a good day. Until next time.